Hi there, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars and welcome to my little booth that I'm in today. And uh, it's kind of blue and I don't know if you like this, it's kind of like very boudoir-y with blue cushions and blue background. So um, just experimenting with different ideas for backdrops and things. Um, so today I want to talk to you about Dovina guitars and Dovina guitars um, you would have seen a, a few, few, um, a few videos that I've done, but with events taking over as they have done with COVID and Brexit and all these different things going on, it's been very, very difficult to sort of spend any time chatting to you about what's really happening and, and developing. And um, I want to, I thought it would be nice to show you some just a few guitars just to give you an idea of the kind of quality and the kind of instrument you can expect under a thousand pounds um because i think there's this kind of really strange skewed view of the industry that uh you know the you know you've got brands out there the taylors and the martins and uh that, that keep kind of coming up in guitar magazines as the benchmark guitars to buy under a thousand pounds and um you know, it just leaves you sort of scratching your head trying to work out, well, do these people know that Dovina guitars exist and other brands? Now, as this is a, a video about Dovina, I won't mention the other brands, um, but, you know, visit my website and you'll see the other brands. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about how we're developing over the, the months ahead to really reinforce my focus just on my, what I call my absolute pet favourite products that I just want everyone to know about. So yeah, it's all getting quite, but I don't want to go off topic here because lots of exciting developments going on behind the scenes. Um, but for now, I just want to kind of hit home what you can kind of expect to get for a thousand pounds. So I'll start here. Uh, so this, this kind of gives you an idea. This was a really exciting development over Christmas. I need to do a video all about this guitar really because there's so much um, relevance to this one guitar on a personal level or if you like an emotional level and um, it's called the Dovina Pure and it's meant to be my representation of uh, I, I don't want to sound too kind of um, uh, freaky here but uh, through my own following of mindfulness and a bit of Buddhism um, about just trying to be in the present and be uh, it's all about relieving anxiety and not dwelling on past and future. And this, this, which is what I do in my life, I, I have to sort of be very, uh, uh, try and be very present and, and not allow my feelings and fears to take hold of me. And so I wanted a guitar that would represent that emotion and that, that connection or that feeling I need to have. And um, because that's what we do when we're playing music, we're, we're in the moment, aren't we? We're, if, if we're playing a guitar, the chances are we are very much connecting with the instrument and focusing on the instrument and not focusing on our fears or our, 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 our um, you know, concerns. So, so I wanted this guitar to represent that. Now, it's a very stripped back instrument. Um, it's meant to be, and it, you won't believe the effort that goes into making guitar look like that, you know, it's simple. Um, I was very keen to have kind of like almost sort of a, you know, a binding that just almost looked invisible. Um, so it's a binding that is there, but you know, if you look at it from certain angles, it'll just almost look like part of the grain. So, um, so I wanted a very, very natural binding. Um, this is a uh, Sapili back and sides, but it's all solid woods. This one then has some, some very important um, imagery that is relevant to mindfulness that I had them put in and they created this beautiful, uh, this is done with laser. So there is a bit of modern technology there going into the lasering, but these are, these are handmade guitars made in very traditional tooling um, with tooling methods. You've got a wooden inlay. So this is, even the inlay look is absolutely beautiful. So it's, it's um, these are uh, Grover, Grover machine heads. So this is where it kind of starts because what I wanted was a really simple, no frills guitar that could start people's journey into Dovina guitars. And um, 
yeah, I won't waffle on too much. So, so that's that. And this is the uh, solid cedar top version. So it comes in various different versions, but this is a dreadnought solid cedar top. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll play a couple of chords. A dreadnought just, just and, and this is I kind of wanted this particular guitar to be a dreadnought actually because it's all about just losing yourself in the chord and this guitar is 699 now can you imagine this is a handmade guitar in Eastern Europe in Slovakia small workshop 699 with a beautiful message and available in Grand Auditorium, Dreadnought, but this is the Dreadnought version. So I mustn't dwell too much on one guitar, so that's that. But I hope you will agree that's a special guitar. Uh, it's not mass produced, it's not made in the Far East, it has a special meaning, and I hope you'll connect with it as a guitar. Uh, then, uh, so here we go into the you could call it stepping up um, into the uh, Pomona, as this one's called. This is a cedar top Pomona, so a bit more detail in terms of the wooden um, inlays around the sound hole. A uh, little bit more, a little bit more detail in the bindings. We are now into Kaya mahogany. Look at that! <laughs> oh. oh. Yes, it's all very beautiful. Kaya mahogany. Then we've got this beautiful detailed, um, see this is Delebony, but what they do, and this is another beautiful example of Erica really in her design mind. And she looks at color tones and sees how they connect and, and they will literally find pieces of wood and that will then, see, see look, look how that blends and matches with the headstock. So they find a piece, they find a piece of uh, ebony uh, headstock with nice detail, but then they blend it with another piece of wood that just looks like it gets continuity between one piece and another. So each guitar really is quite unique, it all follows its own, even though it's following a design standard, every bit of wood's different and they're able to select bits of wood that work together, which I absolutely adore that concept. <laughs> So again, my creaky guitar playing. One is 799. So that's 799. So Kaya Mahogany Cedar Top. We then go to the Sol. And this one is 899. So what you get for 899. In this particular example, we've got some bear claw dolomite spruce. Um, again, available in cedar. There's a bit of the bear claw, I don't know if it shows up on the screen here, but you'll see the kind of kind of some fun grain pattern going on if you different angles you'll see them in there so this is dolomite bear claw spruce uh, again another rather beautiful again just th th their attention to the cosmetic detail they, eat, they, they really are beautiful they always think about the the connection between the rosette and the woods that are on the backs and sides it's all very very thoughtfully created so look at that that's walnut and the way I sort of it's it's very hard to put into words. Um, the quality and the detail of every Dolphin and guitar, it's almost like, you know, loud and esque at an absolute fraction of the price. Look at this. Isn't that incredible? I just really hope the beauty of this guitar comes across. Because I don't see anything in the market that is natural and earthy and real. 
by mass-produced brands that comes close to these. And like I say, most tailors and martins around about the £800 mark, they've got laminate back and sides. You know, you're talking about highly mass-produced, I can't say it enough, you don't have to buy that kind of stuff. The worst case scenario is, which is what happens quite a lot, is that we can't get our hands on one and you have to wait for it to be made. And that's 12 weeks. It takes 12 weeks. If you just happen to be the one person who wanted one just as we'd run out of stock and there were none made, which is highly unlikely, there were none in production for me, you'd have to wait 12 weeks. But even 12 weeks for a handmade guitar, really? You can't wait 12 weeks for something incredibly special. This is why you don't see them in the mainstream shops, because shops don't want guitars that take 12 weeks to come through. They want mass-produced guitars that are quick and easy to sell. What would you rather have? Um, now this one's the uh, Dolomite Spruce, we hear that kind of... That sort of chime, that sort of brighter Dolomite Spruce... Cuts through. Flame Maple Binding! I didn't tell you that! Flame Maple Binding, I should have told you. Hang on, let's see if I can get it without any... Hopefully that's showing... It's absolutely beautiful, look at that. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> that's 899! Right, okay, 899, you go there. Sol, you can wait. And then finally, 999. We go to Rosewood. Look at this. Rosewood back and And look at this piece of Rosewood. Look at that. 999. Handmade. Flame maple bindings. Exquisite. Look at this. This one's got a slightly more classic piece of ebony, actually. Uh, this is kind of... Um, yeah, pretty pretty dark ebony on this one. I quite like them actually when they've got the more streaks and things. But um, different people want different things, so so um, it's never an issue either way for me. But I kind of get a bit excited when I see some more detail. Uh, and and look look how they've matched the headstock to that's no that's no that's no sort of um, coincidence. This headstock has been plated to absolutely match. The more rich, dark ebony board. Here's a piece of ebony, and there's an ebony headstock. You know, you can't fault their unbelievable detail and thought that goes into, you know, the love, basically, that goes into every guitar. And this is what I love about these guys. They are absolutely joyous to work with. Um, and Erica, she'll just do anything for any. I mean, she's just unbelievable. Uh, she does too much, I think. Or, um, you know, just that's another subject. Erica, naughty lady. Um, she's uh, she, she's a little bit like me, a bit of a workaholic. I think you have to be when it's uh, your own business, I suppose. It's just uh, one of those things. Um, oh, I should have just mentioned the detail on the headstock too. That's another little. So you're starting to get into this extra bit of binding, oh, and gold, gold hardware, of course. So uh, this little stripey, stripey bit here is another little addition on the uh, on the uh, Ceres, this is called. So in the gold hardware. Okay, so I think that's the cosmetics mentioned. And rosewood. So rosewood gives you a little bit more detail. It's a cedar top, so we're blending a bit of cedar and rosewood, but um, yeah, you get the warmth of the cedar in this one. But, it, but, but Rosewood does have this kind of bit more high-low separation. I 
just sit. I just love just sitting. Just like just playing with little open notes. Yeah, just beautiful. 999. So every single one of these is under a thousand pounds. And I really hope that kind of shows you. And this is before you get into the what we call the master build stuff, where we just get incredible woods, customizations. You can you can put your you can put your name on the fretboard or the 12th fret. Um, and this is the world that I'm gonna be immersing myself in over the years ahead. Uh, I've made quite a decision to um, cut free from some of the um, the cheaper kind of you know stuff that swamps our workshop and stops us from. I feel like it kind of sometimes stops me from breathing, you know. Uh, and it's really important that the the business remains a a true representation of our passion, you know, not just my passion, but the guys who, you know, who now work with me as well. Um, we all love what we're doing and we're having the most joyous conversations with um, lovely customers who, 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 who kind of appreciate all this stuff. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, people, it's, it's all really, really good. It's a great time. And um, so I, I won't say too much about that because this is all meant to be about just this little bit thing a thousand pound Dobbin guitars and under so this is what you can get for under a thousand pounds so I hope you enjoyed the little overview um, please put any questions below when a video goes out I can kind of um, I kind of monitor it for a week or so until the next video and so I do get to see questions and things that might come up so feel free to please put comments below let me know what you think let me know what you think of the guitars and um, if you have any questions about Dobbiner uh, let me know. There's some really fun, exciting stuff looming, and it's all so oh, exciting. But I can't tell you about it right now because it's a different video. Okay, so uh, see you again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little overview of sub £1,000 Dovna guitars. Okay, bye.